Downtown at the convention center in Topeka, Kansas, young farmers from all over North, Central, and South America have gathered for a weekend full of professional training programs to help make their dreams of farming a reality. I'm here now with two such young farmers. Let me speak to you first, Justine. Did you always know you wanted to be a farmer? <laughs> no, I didn't know any farmers growing up. I'm from the city of Detroit, Michigan. It wasn't until I went to college and started studying more about our natural heritage that I began to want to help reconnect local communities with the natural riches of this country. It's our birthright. So about three years ago, I bought farmland in North Carolina where I now grow organic vegetables and raise chickens. I provide my goods at affordable prices to underserved communities nearby. I also help to educate young people about farming and nutrition so they can lead healthier lives. That's amazing. What about you, Luis? Did you always know you wanted to be a farmer? Yes. I grew up in Costa Rica and worked alongside my father and uncle who grew bananas. It's a big industry. However, over the years, I noticed how most of the profits from the farms went to large corporations from other countries instead of to the local farmers. I wanted to start my own farm so I could focus more on giving back to the people who, like my father, work the land. I'm here to learn more about the administrative side of things to make my business a success because I believe that by increasing farmers' wealth, we can improve the way of life for many more people in Costa Rica. That's a beautiful vision. So, there you have it. Justine and Luis, the changing face of farmers in America. I'm Jake O'Neill for TYZ News.